World War II had just been declared. And everyone was saying that it's absolutely impossible to create these great ships and do all the things that needed to be done in such a short window of time. But there was one man that is not talked about much, and he should be, Henry Kaiser. He said it could be done. He had a mind that was optimistic, a drive that believed in the possibilities of God, and he created many miracles. Here's what he said one time. He said, problems are only opportunities in work clothes. <laughs> I like that. Think about your problems as opportunities. And think about them in work clothes. And you're going to get in there and work with them. With God and the team of all you working together will solve those problems, make them go away, in 1 Corinthians 4, verse 6, our Bible says, it's important to look at things from God's point of view. So often, we are blinded by our problems. We're like the deer on the railroad tracks. We freeze and we stop. We stay there until the problem just runs over us. If a temporary loss of perspective has you worried, has exhausted you, or even both. It is time in this midweek to readjust our thoughts and our thought patterns. Negative thoughts are habit forming. And fortunately, very fortunately, so are positive thoughts. Positive thoughts are habit-forming, and I believe that they have a stronger habit-forming base because you will become addic addicted to them. We become addicted to worry and negative thought, too. But positive thought, remember that has God with it, God working through it. And as we see the miracles in front of our eyes, great things happen. When you practice, you can form the habit, the habit of focusing on God's priorities and your possibilities. And when you do, you'll soon be spending less time fretting about your challenges and your problems and more time praising God for God's blessings. When you call upon God and prayerfully seek God's will, God will give you a profound comfort in the middle of your problem. God will give you a profound wisdom beyond your own human mind for solving your problem. And God will give you a perspective beyond what you can see with the human eye. When you make God's priorities your priorities, God will direct your steps. God will calm your fears. So, beginning this day, pray for a sense of balance so that you're not off kilter. And pray for a sense of God's perspective. And remember, there are no problems no problems, no problems that are too big for our God.